Do you think you can judge a book by its cover? Do you think a man with a two gram a day cocaine habit who watched his family fall apart can suddenly change like magic? Well, I don't believe in magic. Dad, let's go! But I have learned a little about miracles. Canada, from its rugged Atlantic coast, across its vast prairies, in its diverse cities, to the beautiful Pacific coast. From the United States border to the Arctic Ocean, it's a land of contrasts, both in its geography and its people. In French-speaking Quebec, L'Armée du Salut brings the Army's message of hope and renewal in Canada's other official language. Add Bermuda, a jewel in the Atlantic with its own unique and joyful expression of the caring army, and you have the Canada and Bermuda Territory. Through two world wars, the Depression, and millions of personal tragedies, the Army's social services have been there, responding to need at the point of need. The Salvation Army exists to share the love of Jesus Christ, meet human needs, and be a transforming influence in the communities of the world. Today, we serve many who are alone and lonely in old age, sometimes forgotten by family and friends, downsized or redundant, often lost in a fog of confusion fueled by hunger, drugs, and alcohol. Society calls them losers in the rush to material success. Feeding, housing, counseling, Caring and giving hope to those who have no hope, the Army is the single largest provider of temporary shelter in Canada. The mission is to people seeking freedom from hunger, violence and abuse. Innovative, compassionate, professional, driven by a love for God and humanity. And helping ordinary people for whom the next payday never comes soon enough. For victims of family violence and abuse, the first day of the rest of their lives starts at a welcoming army shelter. For unmarried teenage mums, learning parenting skills goes hand in hand with studying to graduate high school. People young and old, caught in the criminal justice system and for whom jail could result in a life of crime, are given a second chance through the intervention of the army. Refugees fleeing intolerance and persecution in their homelands find understanding and practical help at the Army. Since it arrived in Canada in 1882, the Salvation Army has served a country with a diverse population increasingly concentrated in the large cities. Today, Aboriginal officers minister to their own people with a faith that is respectful of Aboriginal culture and values. Canada's cities are magnets for the lost and the lonely, and many fall through the cracks in one of the world's most highly developed social welfare systems. Homeless youth, many alienated from their families, are at particular risk from predators who offer much but deliver only addiction, debasement, and sometimes death. Through the army, the elderly can approach the end of their lives with dignity and fellowship, with activities to engage their minds and bodies. For the developmentally challenged, the opportunity for dignity through work, independence, and living in community. Across the country, the Army provides inner-city children with a holiday never to be forgotten. The annual winter appeal puts a gift under the tree and dinner on the table for hundreds of thousands at Christmas. Canada is a country blessed, a country of breathtaking beauty and riches. It's also a country where many still need the helping hand and understanding heart of the Salvation Army Social Services. <laughs>